Hey everybody, what's going on? Rob Sesternino back here with a Survivor preseason tradition like no other. Today, we are going to learn everything we need to know about the Survivor 44 contestants in just one look as uh, Bryce Isaiah returns to look at these Survivor contestants for the first time and tell us how they will do on Survivor 44. And now, let's welcome in a man who is beloved by all he is the host of the purple pants podcast and of course is on tour all through survivor 44 as part of bryce and when present here he is the baby boy bryce isaiah bryce how are you rapper i am so excited i am amazing thank you so much for keeping the it's a look tradition alive mm -hmm. yes okay well, very excited to uh, get the chance to uh, catch up with you here today and uh, get into uh, something that has become, it started off as art, but I think it's become science. Uh, listen, you you better ask somebody about it. Even we did uh, It's a Look with Shannon for uh, Australia, and you mm -hmm. know. I didn't predict that Jerry would win, but I predicted that he would be somebody forced to be reckoned with and you know after last week's episode you know yep. it's a look don't lie are you keeping up with australian survivor i mean you must be kind of sort of yes i watch yeah. you know i try to get the clips in when i can mm -hmm. okay um yeah uh, i have been it's been uh very fun i'm gonna uh catch up actually with shannon gus later on today on thursday so be on the uh, on uh it's a lookout for <laughs> that and of course, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, Bryce, uh, that I have so much respect for how sacred the process is for you because you do not even look at the Survivor contestants before we do this. I don't. I do not. I. My one rule is I will look at the like the the tribe photos, but I try not to look at the individual photos because it's like I really want to give my live reaction. So it's been so hard because I will have to say this cast of 44 has been so uh, active on social media and I love it. It's like every six seconds somebody is posted. So I got to just scroll and keep on moving. So um, I really am excited and I'm glad that we're doing this a little earlier because normally we do it like the week right before and I have to learn. I know these people's names. Yes. Okay. So I'm glad that we were able to, you know, uh, break, uh, cut down the wait time for you. So you can really start to enjoy uh, this cast. Like we all have. So very excited to get into this. Uh, Mike Bloom and I have gone through and uh, we have done all of our um, pre season, uh, like listening to the interviews that Mike got with them, uh, that we listened to all of them. Mike Bloom also had video from all of the interviews. Those are now being posted to our YouTube channel. So make sure you check those out at robisawebsite.com slash YouTube. In addition to all of this, uh, we're still going to check in with the First Lady of Podcasting, Nicole Sestrinino, to hear what she has to say about uh, these Survivor players. Plus, we're going to have a draft coming up. Uh, make sure that you uh, get all of that when you're subscribed to Rob as a Podcast. Rob has a website.com slash subscribe. And of course, uh, make sure you subscribe to the Purple Pants Podcast, too. Because if you're not, what are you even doing? Right. You better get some box wine and listen to the PPP. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, Bryce, anything you want to tease that you're doing over on the uh, Purple Pants podcast these days? Uh, you know, Survivor News is coming back with a new season. So, you know, myself, Wendell, and Jack Atkins from The Circle Season 2 will be covering uh, Survivor News. You know, every month we are giving you casual tea uh, with myself and Amon. We are covering current events, anything that's going on. Uh, you know, we do Purple Pants premonitions. Any of you people that are into tarot cards, we've got Gangsta Gurry that comes once a month and gives us our forecast. You know, your baby boy is covering sports. I don't really know a lot, so I, you know, call on my resident uh, sports enthusiast Joey Hatch to break it down. We also are giving you music with the Purple Pants playlist, letting you know what music I'm listening to, what I should be listening to. You have the whole world covered. Yeah, listen, we, we got you covered. So look no further. You better you better subscribe as a Patreon. Okay, you better get all the RHAP and the Purple Pants podcast and the wrap up that you can. Yes. Bryce, do you ever do a uh, tarot card reading on the Survivor contestants? Do I ever do one? Yeah. Do you ever get that? No. Okay. I'll, I'll, <laughs> let me. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Listen, I, I might have to call Gangsta Gary. 
Gangsta Gurry maybe uh, might have some insight before uh, we get ready to do our uh, survivor drafts uh, coming up. All right. So uh, we're going to go through all of the survivor castaways for season 44 in alphabetical order. Bryce, uh, what's going on with you outside of podcasting? Uh, you know, outside of podcasting, you know, I work in my regular job, uh, you know, trying to maintain that. And Wendell and what are I the like hardest working people around, Bryce? <laughs> Listen. Don't tell and that was survivor. before you even uh, became such a, you know, uh, doing so much with Survivor. Yeah, I always had three or four jobs and I, I still have two to three jobs currently. So it is a uh, it's a lot. It's uh, a whole lot. And, you know, gearing up for the Bryson Wynn Tour 44 is really exciting, uh, really stressful because Wendell irks my nerve every single day. It's like I say green, he say blue. I say up, he say down. I mm -hmm. say tomato, he says tomato. Uh, so it is a... Uh, a lot going on, but we're really excited for the Tour 44. We are kicking it off in Toronto, and that is truly amazing. And we have so much to offer to Toronto. We're doing a, a charity event for Empowered Inc. It is an organization that uh, supports women of breast cancer that had a mastectomy, and we are providing tattoos to cover up their scars to make something beautiful, you know, uh, by his stripes we are healed so it is truly amazing and Wendell and I are sponsoring two people uh from around the U.S. or Canada to fly in to be a part of it then on that Tuesday we are hosting a panel to talk about diversity in reality tv uh and we'll be joined by Erica, Marianne, Wendell and myself uh and then you know on Tuesday Aza is doing a karaoke party and then Wednesday it is the big Bryce and Wynn present uh for Toronto so a lot going on right uh, Toronto is almost sold out. So, you know, if you can't make it to Toronto, we're hitting seven of their cities. We're LA. You're all over. Seattle, Boston, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, New York. So, yep. uh, you know, Bryson Wynn uh, present has really taken on a life of its own. And it's really uh, couldn't be possible without, you know, the support of the fans that really come out and support us. So we hope to see you on the road. Bryson Wynn present. Uh, you can head to our Instagram or Twitter, Bryce and Win Present, and click the link in our bio, and we'll see you on the road, Patty! Yeah, I think this all culminates. Eventually, you and Wendell get, like, uh, the Bryce and Wendell Cruiser, and it's just basically the entire Survivor season. You're on the bus, and you're just, you, you hit, like, stop to stop. You start, like, on the East Coast and end on the West Coast and just, like, go up and down the country. Yeah, I might have to fly Rob. Wendell has gas when he drives, so mm -hmm. I'll want to. It's be a stuck. bus. It's a tour bus. I, I, he would stink that whole bus up, Robert. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Well, look, maybe he's not eating healthy on the road. <laughs> he's having some gastro internal uh, gastrointestinal distress. Okay. All right. So, all right. Season forty-four is here. Uh, we're very excited. Kicks off March. First, uh, I believe a two hour show and we will get to see these people in action. But in the meantime, let's let Bryce take a look. Of course, if you're listening to the podcast, you can watch the video of this here on our YouTube channel at Rob slash YouTube. Uh, and uh, let's let's check in, Bryce. OK, let me introduce you to our first person. Uh, and his name is oh. Brandon. OK, Brandon. OK. Uh Get now, do you want to know much more? Do you know a little bit about these people already? I I don't know a lot. I do know some. Yeah, I don't know a lot. Okay, uh, but how much I, do you want to know in addition to looking at them? Uh, I like to know where they're from and their okay. occupation. Okay, sounds good. Okay, let me uh, give you. Uh, this is from this is a Brandon Cot uh, Cottom. Uh, he is thirty. He is from Newtown, Pennsylvania. Do you know oh, where that is? Oh, okay. That's Philly. I mean, practically Philly. So, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, and uh, he is in security. Oh, cyber security? That's Retail? what I thought at first. But uh, it sounds like that he's actually like in security of like uh, people that for, like uh, like protect you and oh. also uh, like uh, people that like, uh, you know. Kick you out of places. Oh, okay. I might, I might need to holler at Mr. Brandon. Hey, maybe um, if anything ever gets... I know that nothing ever gets crazy at a Bryson Wen party, but, you know, if it ever did. 
I mean, yeah, it, it would need, Brandon would need to protect me from Wendell. So, uh, or Wendell from me. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, I, we like uh, Brandon. I mean, I want to jump the gun, but yeah. I mean, dare I say Zaddy 2024? I don't know. Sure. I forget. Uh, also, am I supposed to describe what they're wearing to you, to the you and the podcast listeners who are not looking at the video, or is that only in the Zaddy calendar? No, I think you should absolutely describe what they are okay. wearing. Uh, he's wearing a short sleeve uh, button up shirt. It looks like a cotton or a linen. Uh, looks like <laughs> a uh, yeah, a cotton uh, blend. Uh, looks like vertical stripes. Looks like I can't tell if that's a, a like very pale blue with some uh, vertical olive uh, stripes. And then uh, he's got uh, some shorts also. I uh, feel like Bryce is going to feel like maybe a little long on the short length. Uh, so I, yeah. you know, but khaki shorts. Yeah, khaki shorts. So my overall predicted, pred predicted <laughs> prediction for Brandon is one, this is a quintessential, quintessential winter pose, right? He's got his hands over. Arms folded. Arms yep. folded. You know, no Jeremy. Thumbs. No thumbs, you know, Tony, Jeremy, Wendell have all used this photo uh, or this pose. So for me, this is telling me that he is coming into this game very confident um, and <laughs> as he should. Uh, but there are some things. However, 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 because I mean, he looks like a man of uh, tall stature. Uh them khaki jeans, they could be an inch higher. Like, we don't, I, I should be able to see your knee, okay? They're a mm -hmm. little long. But he is tall, so I don't know. Like, you know, do they still have that store big and tall? Maybe, like, you know, he got his shorts from there. So, so they, yeah. they were a little long. Um, But for me, what is concerning yep. uh, is it's the pose. The pose. Uh, so normally, when you do this, uh, your hands folded, uh, you know, your feet are kind of like aligned with your shoulders. It looks like... Like an A. Like an A. He's kind of giving us uh, a V or an L. One of his feet is in the sand. So, you know, for me, that tells me that he is going to be locked in. But it's that other foot that is kind of pointing out that's making that L that is above the sand. And so mm -hmm. for me, that lets me know he is giving me probably his original tribe strong, right? But that okay. other foot out is telling me, like, I want to work with other people. I want to, like, you know, and I feel like that might get him in trouble a little bit. Yeah. Uh, because he is a very confident pose, but it's the ending with them feet uh, tell me a lot. And, you know, he should have on hoochie zaddy shorts, not hoochie no zaddy. khaki shorts that are coming right at the your knees. OK, it's 2023. We want to see them thighs. Mm hmm. That's right. No, Bryce. Now, for people who maybe are like uh, listening, like, oh, wait, what, what, is, what is he talking about? Uh, the feet out. Uh, and so. Maybe people like might question this, uh, but it's for you. It's it's not about like what the picture looks like. It's it's what the picture means. Correct. Correct. Uh, it's funny you and I were having this discussion the other day. Um, so of course you know I'm I'm very critical on the fingers and things like that. But for me, it's really the details uh, about the photo because believe it or not, I was once out there on that island, and I know. I spent a lot of time. I had a great seat where I was in Cagayan when we were out in the Philippines. We had to sit under this pergola for like nine hours a day. Then when it was time for us to take the photos, we all got dressed up. And then, you know, they would take a group of two or three and they would walk over to the sand. And I really got like a bird's eye view of people taking their photos. Wow. And I... In my season, I saw like people that stood out for me were Tony. Tony was just like the way he walked over there and just took his photo. I was just like, oh. And I think about when I got in front of that camera, Robert, I was so awkward, so like I didn't know what to give. And I mean, is it a coincidence that I went out there? Like, you know, like for me, so I really correlate to how you project in this photo will say a lot about your gameplay how you are feeling in ponderosa uh because believe it or not the game starts the second mm -hmm. 
you meet your cast in LA. Uh, you know, people are sizing you up. People are like, you know, oh, did she smile at me today? Oh, they didn't look at me today. And then that that really is their first impression. So I really feel like when they are taking this photo, they're not alone. Some of the tribe can see them. And so it really kind of, for me, gives me the, it's a look into how their game will be because this is what they are, projecting or how they are entering the game and so for me I definitely get confident from Brandon but it's also about the details the little details tell you a lot uh tell you some things that you might miss in the game and so for me this 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 look is very confident he's coming in uh I feel like he is holding himself to a high standard like I'm I came to win. However, the feet in the sand kind of tell me a lot. Like one foot is planted in and the other foot is out ready to mingle. Look like the other foot just about to zip away. So it's like I feel like mm-hmm. he will have some issues with um being loyal to I don't know what the tribes are. Locomoco, uh, being loyal to Locomoco, and then choo, when choo. He, choo choo choo, when they make the choo choo tribe, you know, he's going to be, you know, have a wandering foot, and some of the Locomoco might have a problem with that, and then say, Brandon got to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the photo is such like a window into like the vibes also. And I yes. feel like that in the 26 day game, I feel like that the it's a look is even more important than it was in the 39 day game because it's like, hey, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Right. All right. Fast. You know, like who are you working with? Let's go. Yeah. And your clothes will tell a lot about your personality. Um. So again, like for instance, for Brandon, I get business, but I also get the way he got that one button at the bottom unbuttoned, the other button at the Mm -hmm. top. He got a little necklace. We can see a little chest hair. We see that tattoo, okay? So for me, I I can tell that Brandon knows how to, oh, my name is Brandon Gordon. And then, you know, I might see him in the club like, Brandon, he be like, what up, B? So I I, I see a lot (laughs) in, in this. So I, um, ooh. Okay, is he staring mm-hmm. at? Is he staring at me? <laughs> Hello. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Brandon what up, B? Is, what up? B? <laughs> what up, B? Uh, but yeah. But overall, other than the shorts, a nice little cotton shirt. Uh, yeah, we like Brandon. Okay. All right, Brandon. In the mix. All right. Uh, one down. Let's talk about another gentleman that we're gonna see in our Survivor season. Uh, let's talk about Bruce. Okay. Uh, Bruce is, uh, from West Warwick, Rhode Island. Oh, Uh, and uh, do you, have you been to West Warwick? I have, you know, I got family in Rhode Island. I, they used to call me the, they used to call me the Prince of Providence. The Prince of Providence. Yes. I listen, Robert, when I, when I became a, your majesty, (laughs) <laughs> when Your I grace. Became, yes, thank you. You can say what up, B. Uh, when I became of age to drink, uh, I had a friend that lived in Rhode Island, and I like I used to tear Rhode Island up. Oh. Okay. And so yeah, I always tell Brandon, uh, not Brandon, uh, uh oh. Bruce. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bruce. Bruce. Uh, Bruce is an insurance agent. Oh. Okay. okay. 46 from West Warwick, Rhode Island. Okay. Uh, that, what's the saying? What's it? Is it all state there when we care? No. Okay. <laughs> You're in good hands. You're in good hands. Yeah. Now, okay. You're in good hands. Now, I don't know what Bruce is doing with his hands, but... <laughs> I hope they are good hands. Yeah. This is like uh, the Superman pose. Yeah, this is like a, this is when you, uh, I don't know if you've ever like gone to like Sears back in the day and take those uh, family photos mm-hmm. and you're like sitting in the chair and your mom is like, sit up. Okay. Yeah. Bruce said, I'm going to sit up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, we, first of all, I feel like since he's ro- from Rhode Island, I feel like uh, people, in uh, the main Boston, Rhode Island, I feel like uh, they have a sense of humor that I can relate to. I feel like, you know, Aaron, Meredith, uh, I feel like Jamal. I have a lot of friends in that New area. England. 
New England, Jeremy Collins. So I feel like, again, Bruce is presenting to us very friendly, very like, I can't prepare. If it's the first day of school, he has his calculator, his protractor, his eraser, his lunch. He is ready. Uh, yeah. And th again, this is a solid pose, like hands on your hips. Uh, but it is something in the way, I don't know. It's something in that the way his hands are that it is almost giving me Roxroy esque. Like, okay. I mean, he is like ready. He's ready to go. Oh, okay. Yeah. You need a shorts. I'm here. <laughs> okay. All state. I know where my hands are on my hips. You're in uh, good hands. He's in good hands. Um, very solid pose seems like very friendly. Uh, but again, that pose is very strong. So it makes it, it Lynn makes me believe that he probably uh will be a physical attribute. And I also feel like he might just have, I mean, if he is gripping his hips like this. I can only imagine if he wants somebody to go home. He's not like, you know, his all-state hands is going to be all over that person to go home. And so I wonder about his ability to be flexible in the game with uh, working with his allies. Because, you know, he come ready. He prepared. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so Bruce is wearing a, uh, I would say, uh, salmon. salmon. That's what I was going to say. Uh, okay, I was worried that maybe salmon uh, was it was maybe too light for salmon, but yeah, like a light pink uh, polo, uh, and then uh, he's got some white shorts. Uh, not sure if there's a pattern. Maybe a I, little yeah, bit I, of like a plaid, a uh, light plaid, little light plaid pattern. I mean, yeah, checker, uh, checker. And listen, I I was unsure, but as we zoomed in, his pants are absolutely above his knee. So we it's like close though. It's very close, but we'll take it. It also looks like that material that will like really dry fast. Oh, that's good. Um, another thing, again, there's just something with that hand pose. It's like a little like no awkward. And so for me, that lends me to believe that if somebody is coming to him like, oh, Bruce, they said that you they said you were saying my name. I feel like he might be like, oh, who who said that? Like, you know, I feel like he might, you know, get a little awkward when it comes to lying or something. So I don't know something about that hand pose. But again, looks very friendly, looks strong. I feel like, you know. He ready to go. OK, all right. There's Bruce. All right. Uh, <laughs> Bruce you're is, in Bruce's hands. You're, you're, in, you're in good hands with Bruce. Okay. All right. Um, next up, we're going to talk about somebody who's become a bit of a fan favorite. Okay. Uh, I know you've both tried to avoid as much uh, stuff as possible, but is it possible that you've managed to not see anything about Carolyn? So here, Carolyn is the, she got curly hair. Here's Carolyn. Uh, okay. Let me just tell you a quick little story. Quick little story. Now, I feel like I'm going to like Carolyn. Uh, you know, when the cast came out two weeks ago, right? I, again, as the, you know, younger cousin to these cast members. Because, uh, you the know, we're family The Prince of now, Providence. The yes. Prince of Providence. I always, like, want to make sure, again, I always try to pe treat people how I was not treated. So I always want to make sure I try to give people a warm welcome, even though I am not looking at their photos, right? I, uh, if I see it, I'll scroll up and then, you know, do my quintessential three purple hearts. Let you know, I, you know, I see you. I love you. I'm excited. And um, did a little purple heart. Yeah. Went to sleep. I woke up and Carolyn a little notification she wrote the lyrics to a morion icebox now at first when i read it i was like what she was like i got the icebox grill with my heart you and i was like well child did i do something to her and then when i realized it was a morion i said girl what how you know about a morion and icebox do you know who a morion is Robert? i do not oh my god do you know who B2K is, Robert? No. Oh. 
Amorian was in a group called B2K. Then he left the group. Then he went solo. Then he had a couple of hits. You know, Icebox grew in my heart. Used to be so cold, so cold, so cold. So the fact that she knows Amorian Icebox, uh, I was like, oh. But um, given taking a look at Carolyn, uh, again, a very strong pose. I feel like yeah. uh, one of the times I've seen a pose, like, again, hand on your hip and hand down. I feel like Kim Spradlin Wolf. Use mm -hmm. this at Winners at War. And for me, like hand on the hip means uh ready for business. I'm came here to play survivor. Your hand down on your thigh means like I'm open to play with others. However, instantaneously, I see a thumb. So I feel like Carolyn might be the one to hmm. stir the pot. Yeah. What's that tattoo? Is that the state of Minnesota? I thought it was a dove. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, it could be a couple of things. One, because I'm a little hungry. I thought it was a chicken wing, but it's not. Uh, it also, it, yeah, I mean. I don't think it's Minnesota. I That's where she's from. I I kind of sort of see it as like a, what do you call these? Uh, um, it looks like a state. Is that Rhode, is that Rhode Island? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. She's from uh, North St. Paul, Minnesota, and she resides in Hugo, Minnesota. Let me see. The chat probably knows. There's a lot of some geography whizzes in there. Looks like the Great Lakes. Oh. It's like a Rorschach test. Lake Superior, people are saying. Oh. Okay. Okay. You better get you one of these. Mm -hmm. Superior. Uh, but, yeah, looks friendly. Lake Superior on your upper thigh i mean that that's a that's a great lake so <laughs> okay uh so is that, yeah is that one of the finger lakes I, it's, it's superior. superior uh yeah she looks I, I like again i feel like her knowing icebox her with the great lake her with the tattoo on her, the sleeve, the full sleeve. For me, when I see sleeves um, on people, they tell a story. Yeah. So instantaneously, I feel like uh, she has a story. She has, like, I just feel like she, sunflowers, they grow tall. They're, right. Their their stems are very, you know, rigid and prickly. But then at the end, it's a sunflower. Um, so I feel like, you know, I just feel like uh, she has a story. Uh, she is blonde hair. Uh, the waves are curly. I mean, I could tell she put her mascara on this episode. So, I mean, yeah. she came prepared. Uh, but it's that thumb out. And again, she has a, a pose like Brandon. One foot is kind of sort of in the sand. The other one is out. Talking yeah. away. She making an L. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, she, her, she got toe polish on oh it looks like mm -hmm. blue and red she's looking to make a splash so yeah we 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 definitely like this pose it's that thumb for me yep letting me know that like you know she she might be in the middle of something or like you know she's not holding her cards close to her heart like she should be she might be spilling the beans all around i don't know but one thing i do know is we're going to enjoy and have an amazing time watching her okay a anything else about Carolyn uh, that uh, she is uh, looks like that is she wearing a swimsuit and then uh, denim uh, cut off shorts, cut off shorts, L little bodysuit. So, again, yeah. ready. If I need the first challenge is in the water, I'm ready. Got the 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 shorts on. OK, she could have let Brandon hold them because Brandon had them old khaki shorts on cover his knee. Like, you know, listen. Let the thighs out, okay? This season 44. We ain't playing. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Superior. Superior. All right. Uh, anything else you would say about Carolyn? No. You're I, good? I, I want to know the okay. story about Lake Superior. And I want to know how the chat knew that was Lake Superior. There, I thought it was like the a... chat knows everything. I thought it was like a hand muppet. Like, yeah. I was like, oh. You know, people are like, oh, it's, it's a chat GPT is going to change the world. You know, I don't need chat GPT. I've got the chat during the podcast. I ask them any question. They come back with the answer, and they don't ever write anything like, I'm going to kill you. Oh, 
And if they do, we ban them. Okay, not like Chat GPT. First of all, how you know about Jet uh, Chat GPT? First of all, that is a lifesaver at work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey, can you type this in? Uh, can you edit this in the voice of a very humble, happy, confident employee? Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and they'd be like, one moment. <laughs> and I'd be like, yes. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, how do I know about it? You think I don't know about Chat GPT? I, somebody just literally told it to me like two weeks ago. And I was like, oh my God, it's a game changer. But then I also had a conspiracy theory. Like, what if they just gain all this information about how people, they're learning about how people write. And hmm. then, so now we won't get like, hey, Robert, this, this, I'm an African prince. Uh, I lost my wallet. Oh, you know, we're not going to get the those prince things. of Providence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> You know, they're, you're going to get somebody that actually types like me. So I don't know how I feel about uh, chat GPT, but yeah, I did some it. bad press this week. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Let's uh, talk about somebody who is uh, a young man oh. on this season. Uh, let's talk about yeah. Carson. Oh. Have you seen this guy anywhere? Oh, 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 Harry. Now yeah. we got <laughs> Harry yes. Potter playing. Yes. An another prince. Yeah. An um, okay, uh, Prince of Azkaban, <laughs> is that right? Uh, Car am I doing this right? Carson is from Rome, Georgia, resides in Atlanta, Georgia, oh. as a NASA engineering student. He's 20. Oh, so he's smart, smart. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Prince of the Orbits. Okay. Uh, first of all, I... Can we just zoom in a little closer on uh, Baby Carson's face? Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. So, first of all, <laughs> we just love Carson. I, like, I, oh, my God. We, I, just, I feel like he is, I don't know why randomly, but it's like if you, you've got cousins, Robert, right? Sure. And so, I feel like. Carson is that cousin at like the family reunions where he is like, he just turned, uh, what is it? 13. So he's officially a teen and he wants to like hang out with the older cousins. He wants to hang out with like Ryan and, and Chris and Mike, uh, you know, but they're at like the basketball courts and like, you know, uh, Carson's like, mom, can I go hang out with Ryan and them? And then he gets there and he's like, Hey guys, like, I just, I get like innocence super smart like i just get like little cousin vibes from him mm -hmm. um, his stance hands on the hips uh can we scroll out a little so i could uh see this and then you know he doesn't most people will button the button all the way up he got the button down a little bit and it looked like yeah you know how when you button the shirt and then it won't, the shirt don't always open like this. And I feel like uh, Carson, before he was taking his photos, was like holding it down so that he was like, I got to make sure it stays open. I got to make sure it stays open. Um, but we love the shirt. Hands on the hips. Yeah. Attention, Survivor players. Uh, Attention. This is the length. This is the how Brandon Shorts should have been fitting him. Like, okay. we, we love it. Look at he this. He got room on the side if he need to put an idol. Like, you know, they flowy, nice. We love the shorts. Now, here is the thing that I worry about Lil Cousin Carson. Okay. Um, again, he just reads. Like, I just. But he's a great reader. He, he right. <laughs> But he reads all the time. He, I, I bet. I bet you, he, listen, he knows about what planet is closer, what the mm -hmm. Like, you know, he's going he's gonna to tell people what time it is on yeah. the island. Okay? He's going to look at the stars and tell you. But, like, I, um, I really feel, uh, I just feel like if he's in NASA, he is a huge Survivor fan. So I feel like he knows the game. And, again, I feel like from season 43, uh, the thing that was different about that season was that, um, for my opinion, and again, I argue with James about this all the time, is that the cast was a lot younger and they were Survivor fans, right? Like Survivor, Survivor, Survivor fans. And so James and I, James Jones, uh, 
he irks my soul because we will, no matter what, he can, and James literally lives like two blocks away from me. So James yeah. will call me and be like, hey, Bryce. Well, he says, perp, he's like, hey, perp, I cooked some hamburgers. If what is he? What does he say? He'll be like, hey, perp. Cause perp? Yes. The, oh, Wendell, like short for purple pants? Yes. And so oh. Wendell, okay. that's like Wendell's nickname for me. But everyone now is calling me perp. And so it's always just catching me off guard. But yeah. James will be like. But, like, I, I heard you, you the perp. Uh, yeah, well, that's like, right. <laughs> like, he's like, uh, oh, there's a, a, a perpetrator. Right. So I don't love it, but it, it you know. I will ne I'll never call you that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Uh, but James will be like, I cooked hamburgers if you want something. And James can cook. So then I'll get over there. And then James, all of a sudden, would just, like, start talking to himself about Survivor. But yeah. He, he told me something that I thought was so He knows his stuff. He does. Yeah. And. He was saying like the the difference in with the players on his season were like they are like super fans of the show, but they were younger. And he was like, "There's a difference when you rewatch a season uh, from when you watch it live, as opposed to when you binge watch it." And so um, I feel like Carson is now. This don't ne necessarily connect to what I was just saying, but I feel like Carson is like a fan of the show going to be super eager to play. He's going to be very smart. I feel like he'll be thinking two steps ahead. But the thing for me with Carson is he's got a great pose, but if we look at his hands, they are like spaced apart mm -hmm. a lot. And so it's like, Carson might be so smart. I could just tell uh, he might think of different hypotheses of how things might go. But sometimes in the game of Survivor and in life, sometimes you could be book smart, but then not like island savvy. Mm -hmm. And I feel like how his hands are apart might trip him up where he thinks he thought of everything. And really, the answer might really just lie in front of his face or like, you could have just had a conversation with me and I wouldn't have tried to target you or I wouldn't have did that. So I like that's I just feel like because yeah. he looks prepared. And I think people sure. might underestimate him because they might be like, how old are you? Are you allowed to be on here? Uh, but he just looks so friendly, genuine, and like approachable that I feel like he, Carson will be a force. I, I get like Gavin vibes from Carson. I get, um, I get, you know, Christian Hubicki's, uh nephew, you know, like mm -hmm. I, I get like these great vibes from him. So we love Carson and we love the shorts. Yeah. Can you just go back to what you were saying about uh, with him and James? He feels like that people, because they were younger people, uh, that they uh, binged more seasons. And, and how did that affect the game? So he says, James, and this is James, and we debate about this, but he says that, like, because you watch, again, and I agree with him, watching live is is something about it. Uh, you get more, oh, oh, how? But when you binge watch it, it just kind of all meshes together. And his theory is that, like, a lot of the times on his tribe, uh, people played it safe because, like, they know what could happen. They know you could do this. And so it's like, well, if we just band together. And he's like, people are scared to make bigger moves. Uh, and they want to kind of sort of stay together. He felt like that was uh, a, a lot of some of the issues. And another point that he says is that uh, his tribe, or his season was um, COVID, right? So they didn't have that much interaction with a lot of people. And then it's kind of sort of like, this is the first time that we are getting to play with each other that affects uh, how you might interact with people in real life. Uh, and some of them are used to playing like online survivor games. And so he just feels like uh, you don't really get the full effect of how big the moves were sometimes when you binge watch it and so he feels like for the younger generation just again james not me uh just feels like uh it kind of like not numbs them but it kind of makes them one of like stick together more uh or if you know somebody lying to you but you keep going back and not trying to make a move so i i, I mean i don't know i think he has some yeah. good points but i'm not sure how i agree I, I don't know if i agree with that but i think it's very interesting yeah and that's I, but I mean, that's what podcasting is. Yeah. I mean, and I can get James on the phone and he can yeah. talk okay. three hours about it. I'd uh, love to. So. I would sure. love to. Okay. All right. Uh, let's talk about our next person. Okay. Let's talk about a lady named Claire. Oh. Okay. Hello, Claire. 
Hello. Claire Rafson. Oh, okay. Okay, I can tell you a little bit more about Claire. Uh, she's 25. Uh, she lives in Brooklyn. Oh. And she's a tech investor. What that mean? Like you invest on tech? I don't, you know, I don't know that I did not get this from listening to her interview. I don't know. Is it like, is she like independently wealthy and investing or is like, or is it like, does she like know people like, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm very rich. Can you help find <laughs> things for me to invest in so I can get more rich? I, uh, let me know. Uh, yeah. I love Claire's look. She's giving me like bohemian chic. I love the fit of these pants. It's like a high-waisted, wide-length pants that look uh, like they're cotton material, okay? Because we don't say cotton no more. We say cotton. Um, again, wait, can we? Uh-oh, we got a bow. We got a bow. This is our first bow. Can we zoom in a mm -hmm. little bit on? Okay, you like to see how neatly the bow is tied because that's yes. attention to detail. Attention to detail and stuff. Okay. What do you think? What do you think? I, so what are you seeing I, here? I feel like the the bow is fine, but the two strings that are supposed to hang down, they're not even. I oh. we only see one string. So that is very telling for me, uh, with a Miss Claire. Uh, so we'll get to that, but let's just take a moment to appreciate the hand on the hip. Okay, we see. It, we see a thumb, but again, this is a, a strong pose. Hand on the hip means I came to play Survivor. What's up? I live in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Hand down. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm ready to work with y'all. She has a very cute uh, bikini top with uh, a matching short sets. I love a short set. Uh, she's got necklaces on. She's got bracelets. She's accessorized. Uh, you know, Feel like she has done her homework, you know, looks very confident, got some hair in the front. OK, like, you know, do I need to use my beauty? OK, some hair in the back in case something pop off. I only got to switch one to the back and I'm ready to go. Uh, so we like Claire. I feel like Claire has come prepared. She come okay. ready. But that string is telling me a lot. Telling you a lot. OK. Um. Anything else about the pose? Again, strong pose. Wait, let's take a look at the feet. I mean, again, it seems like one foot is planted a little bit more than the other. But again, I feel like uh, with her pose, it's kind of similar to like Brandon and uh, Icebox, where my heart used to be. But for me, it seems like Claire is leaning on one of the foot. And which for me, that's great because it's like she's ready. If something comes at her, she's going to be ready. Like, you know, she, her feet are planted. You better be ready. <laughs> that's what they well, used to say. Yes. With the song. And uh, didn't they do a remix? Yeah. Yeah. That one season, season 40, they did it a bunch. Yeah. But that string on Claire's. Uh, Bo is telling me, I don't know if, like, she just misses the mark with something or, like, is, like, just completely all the way in with something. What do you want to see with that? You want to see it, I like, wanna a, see a, it immaculate I wanna see, bow? Not an immaculate in? bow. But, no, like, when you tie a bow, it's a bow and a bow. And then it's supposed to have two even strings. Hmm. You know, you know when you tie your shoe, you got, like, the two little things. I get so, that, yeah. For me, that's like, I feel like she might overlook a small, not a detail, or she might overlook somebody. Like, ooh, I ain't really, we don't need to talk to that person. And that person might be... Big mistake. A big mistake, or could be somebody that she thinks against her or is with her, but it's really not. And because she's all the way to one side. But, I mean, other than that, Claire came... Claire, I don't know if she came to play, but Claire came to slay, because this is... a. Uh, this is a, uh, we like, we like this look. <laughs> Let me borrow that short set, okay? <laughs> okay. Bryce, let's talk about uh, somebody else from uh, one of the five boroughs, okay? Uh, and let's bring in, we're going to talk about Danny. Another oh. Danny on Survivor, okay? Uh, and this is uh, oh. Danny Massa, and he is from the Bronx, and he is oh. a firefighter. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Danny. 
Uh, okay. One, we love firefighters. You know, Jeremy Collins, I think of firefighter. Sure. Uh, great, strong player. Uh, we, I'm just, you know, Danny got some arms on him. Got a great little smile. He got a beard. This Now, this the, this is a pretty strong pose. Yeah, but this is like the Survivor 44 is the season of tattoo sleeves. I mean, yes. So, again, that for me tells me Danny has a story. And I'd like a story time. Mm -hmm. uh, Danny looks physically fit. Uh, again, also... I love the combination. He's got on green shorts and a tank top. Uh, tank mm -hmm. top got a little like emblem on it. But again, green little, logo. Yeah. Gr little logo. But the logo it, looks like maybe that's his firehouse. Okay. 1353, 1399. Mm hmm. Okay. Come on. Price, I mean, that's, right? that's, Come that's on a down. price tag, right? <laughs> you didn't forget to take the price tag off that? Yeah. yeah I don't think, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, but again, shorts. Kind of cutting it a little close, but I can see his knees. Yep. They look uh, they look like they are roomy so he can run. His feet are planted straight. Yep. Uh, hands to his hip. They, I mean, again, and listen, Bruce. <laughs> Take a look at this pose, yeah. Bruce. Okay. Like, best you know, version of this we've seen so far. Right. The best version of this we have seen so far. Uh, I don't know if Danny works for Allstate. He might work for uh Nationwide. Nationwide. They're on your side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, this is a straw. This is can, can we take a more look at this? I mean, this is. This is a very Sam, can we back out a little bit here? Strong pose. Yeah. Let me like, ask you something about about this pose. Okay. Uh because okay, uh, you know, we've seen like, you know, the best versions of this, uh the Jeremy Collins and 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 uh well, I, that that might be arms folded. This is a little bit more of the uh what Bruce is doing. Um but he's not flush to the camera. Do you read anything into that where oh. like uh the perspective is a little bit like yeah. on an angle? So I feel like when you are, when you're a little to the angle, I feel like, and again, we might have to ask Carson for this, uh, but it is like wind resistant. Like, you know, if whew, you're able to whew, aerodynamic, aerodynamic, come on, Robert, you know, you are, whew, you're a little bit prepared. Okay, uh, so if something is, you know, if, if I'm hitting a little Kim, something is coming at you, you are ready now danny is giving us confident strong zaddy like you know but again he is right at us like straight like i mean right at us and two hands on the hip is a pretty like i mean he is essentially asserting his dominance on the game and, you know, if he wanted to assert his dominance with me, I'd be, we would be fine with it. But I'm just saying, like, he is, like, very strong. Um, and so straight on. And so I worry about that because, again, in my opinion, and, again, this I'm categorizing this, Danny. I haven't – I'm marking my, you know – who my predictions are. And again, with a pose like this, this absolutely has to go in the potential winner pile for me because he is so strong. Take a look at his feet. You see how they're not like, you know, Brandon Cotton feet was given L. This is given very parallel to us. We see his knees. Mm -hmm. So again, very strong, very, very strong. And then when we get into looking at his face, he looks friendly. He got a little beard. Friendly you know, guys. From... He seems friendly. Yes. Very friendly. He looks physically fit. The smile. Now, mm -hmm. you know, he's, I mean, I don't know if his eyes are open. So again, this, this, this plays into it as well, because is the sun in his eye? And again, could he have everything that we need to be uh, a winner? But He's playing a blind game. Like, oh, a, a, gotta have your eyes open for the got, idols, for alliances. You gotta have your eyes open. Yeah. And we have seen in these the new era of Survivor, right? Uh, and I was very 
on, you know, Hoboken Mike season with Jonathan, I was very like, y'all got to get Jonathan out. He will win. And we see what happens. So, again, somebody that he looked like he's a fireman, so he's going to be a protector. He's going to be like, I'm assuming he could swim. Again, he might, the tribe might hype him up. But, mm -hmm. you know, and he's got the look. But if your eyes are closed or if the sun is shining too bright in your face, sometimes when you're driving down I-95, okay, and that sun come in, you, you, you got to be ready. <laughs> you got to be ready. You can't drive down the highway like this. <laughs> you could be in a Mercedes Benz, but guess what's going to happen? You need to have in that glove compartment that thing above, like, shh. You yeah, need to be, you need to be able to have this and yeah. you need to have that shield, a visor. And yeah. I think that with this pose of Danny, he's given us again, Danny might be other people's shield because he is like, I mean, this is. Whew. <laughs> Are you saying that survivors should practice staring into the sun before <laughs> they go out on Survivor? You got to give it your all. And so mm -hmm. if you need to look like you can see when you can't see, you got to look like you can see when you can't see. Mm hmm. Okay. They don't oh, call it like blindsided it. for nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, watch and, out. Oh, wait, and wait, Robert. If yep. Danny gets blindsided, I don't want nobody questioning it's a look anymore. All right. Mark this clip. Okay? Okay. All right. Hey, Danny. Uh, Jesse Lopez in the chat wants to Did Bryce just put on Bret Hart sunglasses? <laughs> Do you know who that is? Robert, do not disrespect me. Yes, I know who Bret Hart is, the wrestler. Okay. Oh, it, checking. And not my husband, Jesse Lopez. He sent me a message. He let me know. He said, I got a, I have a survivor husband. Yeah. You know, Jesse Lopez. So I can't, I can't. Survivor 44, I'm off the market. You know, I had to break up with Chris Underwood. And wow. now I'm Bryce Isaiah Lopez. So. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and bring in another contestant. Okay. Bryce, uh, do you know anything about Franny? Oh, Franny. Uh, she is uh, living in Cambridge, Massachusetts, but she's from St. Paul. She's a research coordinator. Oh, um, we love Franny. Okay. We love Franny so much. My camera said, good night. Yeah. Can you hear me? You can hear me. Though, I hear right? you fine. I hear you fine. Okay, hold on. Give me chat. Yeah, listen. Uh the survive the, the podcast. Guys, for, it must be something with Franny. Um mm -hmm. oh, we are back. So oh, okay. I whew. we uh um, Is that good or bad if you're I camera? don't know. That the, the your, podcast your camera was like Danny, you're like, oh, I can't see right. uh, <laughs> Couldn't see. Yeah. Uh so we love I, I love this look. Again, Franny is giving me let, i'm letting the 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 podcast god speak to me uh again love the look she has the the short set okay uh little camisole on she is giving us hand on the hip and so for me that is like a i get very friendly i get very like good vibes however you yes. know both hands on the hips she is telling me like is she giving me like second time uh Aubrey played? Is she oh. giving me a Sophie? Uh like I just feel like Sophie she, is her hero. Oh she okay, she is if Carson is Christian Kubicki's nephew, this is Sophie's niece. Mm. Uh again, I feel like just from her spirit, I am getting like nice like shy fun however i think at times when people meet shy fun like meek like because believe it or not i am like that in new settings as well like i'm yep. i can be very shy i could be very however that hand on the hips is telling me like do not judge this book by its cover like i feel like she is going to to play now this is the thing that worries me about sophie's niece um is 
look at like again strong pose again there is she is signifying that i came to play we see no thumbs so she is not messy i feel like i could tell her who i'm voting for or i could tell her robert said they voting for you but don't say nothing write his name down. like i feel like I you. she is good however for me is it's the stance now remember what i said uh like i think it might have been claire's where you you got to be ready if something comes at you, you know, somebody comes towards you. I feel like if somebody were to come towards her, she's going to fall. She doesn't yeah, have- Yeah, can we back out a little bit, Sam? That's like, you know, yeah, like- check she, it. Not that far, okay? I yeah, mean, look at this. But also, it's a sleigh, though, okay? It's definitely a sleigh, you, okay? Because I feel like I got a, a pose like that on my Instagram with your foot out. Like, it definitely is a sleigh. However, I feel like- if something were to come at her that she just would not expect, I'm not sure how she would be able to like recover from it because See, I feel like I feel like that she's almost though that I feel like ready uh, for anything. I feel like this is sort of like uh, you know way way back when. All right, like uh, we're like uh, you know somewhere we're not supposed to be. Oh, it's the cops! All right, ready. she's like ready to like bolt in a second. I, I, could be. I just, I, I just, I think of like if somebody coming at you, what you go like? She would have to change her position really quickly. I feel like mm -hmm. this. Is, I feel like if I were to take this photo, I'd be like, "Yes, come on, give me that leg!" Like, so I don't know, but I feel like she is coming to play, and I feel like don't under don't don't sleep, don't sleep, because again, it's a strong pose. She let you know what's going on. She has her linen materials. If it get wet, it's going to dry overnight. Okay. She came prepared. It's long sleeve that she got rolled up because she know at night it gets cold. Survivor fan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Camisole, the shorts. Like she's ready and she's like smiling. And again, you know, note to Danny, uh, the sun looked like it's in her face, but it looked like she sacrificed. Okay. She sacrificed her corneas for this photo, and we appreciate it. Like we you know, appreciate it. Thank you, Franny, for your sacrifice. <laughs> but she, she look, she is looking clearly. She is looking at us. So I, we, we, I mean, they are giving the looks. Okay, C season forty four is giving the looks. Like I again, I have to now. I'm putting this in my potential. Potential. Mm hmm. Yeah. Bryce, do you think that the survivors can fake it now that you've put so much attention onto the cast photo and what it means? So I feel like, sure, you can give me the pose. I mean, you can, <laughs> we can use Bruce as it's like, no, you can give me the pose, but there is something to when you are out there and you are on that sand and that photographer is taking your photo, like they are capturing you can't that. Fake it. You can't fake it. You can't. Okay. All right. Let's talk about another woman on this season. Here comes oh. Heidi. Heidi oh. Lagarz Greenblatt. Uh, she's 43. Uh, she is uh, living in Pittsburgh, PA. Oh. Uh, and uh, she is originally from uh, Ponce, Puerto Rico. Okay. Now. Look at uh, this dress. I was about to say, I hope Jenny don't get mad at me because I am living for this yellow dress i'm living for it. it's fitted at the top it's loose at the bottom it's bright okay she's not directly facing the camera she's to the side this and is very I'm, rare to see a full-length dress a in the full cast photos. dress and that is what concerns me about my good beautiful sister like i feel like she coming ready hey, again she's claire's motto she got a little hair in the front L listen i'm pretty what's up Half the hair in the back. Okay, she needs to. You who said they was going to vote me out? Like she's ready. Hands on the hips. She's got jewelry, accessories. I love the accessory. I just get nervous with this beautiful dress because I can't see your feet. I can't see if how you're standing. She could be standing on her tippy toes, and I don't know. Hmm. I, is no she clue. flying? She could be flying. That'd be so quite an advantage. That concerns me. And for me, again, this is what the, the Issa look gods tell me is that she could have, this could be the best pose ever. But since I can't see her feet, it makes me worried that 
can her cast mates trust her? She and can they she, see it? Can they see it? And so I feel like they might cast doubt on her because, like, we can't see her feet. And she might go home because of that. I don't know. Her mm -hmm. feet could be strongly planted and she ready to go. I don't know. But, again, yeah. no thumbs. Jewelry. Top. Dress. Could probably, like, you know, serve as a blanket if you need to. <sighs> Clearly, she's strong. The she's tarp. Tough. Okay, right. Okay. <laughs> to the side, she's got on earrings. She's got glasses. She's giving us face. She's beautiful. Like, again, I just, again, I would have to like put this in my could be yeah. pile. But yeah, I just want to say for the benefit of the listeners, like, I don't know if these are the clothes they wear in the game. I definitely think that this is not the era in which they like throw them off the boat and then they're wearing the clothes in the pictures that they were in the game. I don't think we do that anymore. I think they know that they have a press day and that the clothes that they're wearing in the press photos are not the clothes that they have on in the game. But they still pick them out for right. potentially press. So that says a lot. Uh, that also... um that just made me think of like in the beginning of Survivor. Do you remember uh, when it would be like Bryce from Philadelphia, a social worker, and then I'll be at my desk typing, and mm -hmm. then uh, then you see me like walking down the street, and then I would hug my family, and then young me thought they really left right then and there, and I think the season for me, um, one of my first seasons I ever watched, that took me out which is why I was convinced that it was real, was my good, good, good lover to Jeff, my good sister, Sharia Lloyd. Do you remember those high heels that she had yes. on? Yes, yes. It, it, the start of the game. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like she did a challenge. Like she wore them in the sand. And I, I was just so convinced that like, oh my God, they pick you up from your job. Like you don't know. When you're going, sorry. That mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they took them like on a tour of like the temple in China, and they said, "Oh, the game's starting." And my good sister Sharia had her high heels on. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Well, I don't but, think they did that to a Heidi here. Yeah. No, but we love Heidi. Uh, she has come to play, and again, I feel like um, she's a player. Like. She's ready. Uh, I just worry if uh, if we can't see your feet. I don't know how uh, what people uh, will think. And again, mm -hmm. when we look at the bottom, it's like, is she flying? She could be flying over our heads. I don't could know. Be. She could be. Okay. But one thing is for sure. We love this dress. This dress is everything. It is. Uh, I will put it up there with my uh, Jenny's uh, bodysuit. This is. They are giving looks, and it's a look this year, okay? Mm hmm Okay. All right. Next up, okay, uh, we're going to talk about Helen. Okay, Helen is 29. Uh, she's from Wayland, Massachusetts, but she lives in the San Fran. She is a product manager. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, here's Helen. Okay. We love Helen. Uh, strong pose. Mm -hmm. uh, again, First look, hands in the pocket. Hand, hands in the pocket. Uh, I don't mind it so much, but we definitely see a thumb. Uh, I like the top. I feel like it's a purple top. If anything, you'd like the thumb in the pockets and the rest of the fingers out. Yes. Right? Yeah. Kind of, sort of. But this is what I, although she has her thumbs out, right? In the know, belt I, loops, though. I kind of like that. I kind and the fact it's like a hand belt, kind of, sort of. So it's like you might. I feel like Helen. This is what the this is what the Survivor podcasts are telling me. Helen gives me like calculated mess in the sense ooh. of ooh right uh. Uh, ooh, you know, Bruce told me that he was voting Brandon out. And that, like, I feel like, because, again, your thumbs are out, so it's like, I want you to know what I'm doing, but she has them in the jean pocket that kind of is like, it's on purpose. So I feel like Helen might be able to, uh, she might be in a situation where she might be on the chopping block, but she's able to stir the pot 
because shh, when you need to stir the pot, what do you need to do? You need to get the spatula out your kitchen. And where is the spatula in your kitchen? Some people got to hang it up on that thing, that the, the spot, you get the spatula out the spot, you stir it up, and then you put it out, and you put it like, you know, so I, I'm, okay, Helen, I feel like Helen is going to be our strategic queen. Uh, and again, hmm. she is hair in the front, I'm nice. I'm nice, Helen, if you like. But other hair in the back, she might need to, okay? I don't know if she's a Mariah Carey fan, but I see that butterfly on the side of her pants. And you yeah, know is that a butterfly? Uh, that looks like a okay, palm tree. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Palm trees are like the antenna that are like, this is like the top of a butterfly. Y yes. I mean, well, first of all, palm trees are, what are they? They're strong. They they bend, they don't break. They, they bend, they don't break. They got the lead, the branches out. But when it gets rainy, the branches go everywhere. So, you know, she might be all over the island with the tea. She might be able to know. Is that uh is that uh palm tree leaning over to listen to a conversation, but you think it's just a tree, so you don't know? So I, I just feel like uh Helen. Again, with these thumbs and the palm tree, she might be the person that knows the moving parts of what's going on. And again, mm -hmm. I feel like Helen has a like you know one strap is like you. It's almost like the one strap shirts, but then it looks like it one has a support. So the one strap on the side is like, hey, like you know, I could put a blazer and go to work. The other strap, little tube tie. What we doing this weekend? Like, you know, I feel like Helen, I just, I'm, I'm getting two sides of Helen. I feel like, hey, I'm Helen. I'm nice. I'm friendly. I'm the, I'm the girl next door. Mm -hmm. But also, don't let this nice friendliness fool you. I will use the information that I know against you to better my game. Uh, so we, I, I like Helen. I like, I see, this is why I love it's a look. It's like, you just get so much from these. Now, mind you, I feel like what might trip Helen up. Uh, can we zoom out, Samuel, please? I feel like what is going to trip Helen up is probably her own game. Because look at her feet. They're like almost right in front of each other. Like, yeah. you know, so I feel like. One foot off the ground? <gasps> is she flying too? Is she in a hole? <laughs> right like i just feel like she is it could be dug in but the mm -hmm. way her feet are right right in front of each other i feel like she might get twisted up that's the easiest way to trip is from yourself right trust me i know yeah bryce uh could you weigh in on helen's earring i feel like she has an interesting earring uh i feel like it is it could be umbrellas but what i get from it is like a dream catcher Ooh. And so, you know, what's the dream catcher? You know, you hang it out and, and over your bed at night and you, mm -hmm. wish, you wish for things and it can come your way. And so, again, I feel like this all leads to Helen's, like, aura that I'm getting is that she's nice. She's friendly. However, like, she want to win Survivor. She's and so, stirring the pot. She's stirring the pot. She getting her spatula out the hook, stirring it and putting it back and being like, what? Mm -hmm. Everything's in place. Okay, you want to go out tonight? <sighs> I'm ready. Okay, we gotta go to work. I'm ready. Uh, so yeah, we like Helen. She got yeah. We we yeah. I feel like Helen will could be uh potentially make could make this season very interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, there's Helen. Okay. Uh, let's now talk about Jamie. Okay. Uh, let me tell you a little about Jamie. Uh, Jamie, uh, as we see here, okay, uh, oh. Jamie, uh, Jamie, uh, is from Mesa, Arizona, oh. and is a yogi. What 35. Mean? Yeah. What's it, what's uh, she the... does yoga. She does, oh. she's a professional yoga person. Oh, I didn't know that's what you call them, yogis? Okay. Do you ever do yoga, Bryce? I have, yes. I haven't done it in a while, but yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. You know, <laughs> you know, I can hit the damn word dog. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You better ask about me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Now, what, what's her name? I, I was about to call her Yogi. Yeah. Uh, her name is Jamie. 
Jamie. Okay. Uh, our first romper. You know, I live for a romper. Uh, we love it. Again, hand. So this is what hands on the hip, no thumb. This is what makes me so excited for this season is that like, I really feel like this season, they're about to give it to us. Okay. Because again, I feel like these are fans of the show and they all are coming to play. I feel like this might, uh, what do you call it? Uh, in the Roman times, like the gladiators used to cut, like the clash of the Titans. Okay. I feel like we're going to be in for a season because again, at a uh, first look, Yogi is, uh, she's giving it to us. She looks like a, a woman of a certain age. So it's potentially, she could be the mothering, uh, the nurturer and mm -hmm. they go far, but also again, her hands on the hip is letting me know that she is ready to play one. She got some hair in the front, hair in the back. So she again is saying, what's up? W what side of me do you want? Uh, she's got a floral print on this romper. She's wearing a necklace, smiling, uh, bracelets. But again, I think the common trend with this season that I am noticing is that um, everybody is prepared. They yep. come into play. But Another arms at the side pose. No arms, thumbs. No thumbs. But again, we got to get into these feet. It's like... Her it's like work. the top half. Everybody's got it down. It's right. the, it, it's it's the, the bottom foot. half. It's the that bottom people are working half. on. And it's something about this stance that is, I don't know. It gives me pause. Hmm. And it looks like it could be straight, but it's a little bent in that knee. That knee. And I don't, and I, I don't know. Gotta if lock that, the legs. You got, I mean, you don't want them too lock locked. Lock it in. You don't want it too locked, okay? Because But you know, sturdy. Sturdy, because Bruce locked his back in, okay? Bruce, Bruce was... Too locked in. Too, too locked in, okay? You, <laughs> I feel like Bruce is that uncle that when you are, say it's like Thanksgiving, and they be like, it's time to eat, Bryce, go get your Uncle Bruce. Uncle Bruce is asleep. Go get him. I be like, Uncle Bruce... I wasn't asleep. I'm away. I'm away. I, was I wasn't up, asleep. Was what are you... I was I, awake the whole time. I was up, I was up the whole time. <laughs> Yeah. Ah! You're in good hands. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why I'm picturing that. Like, mm -hmm. because I can see it. I was up. No, I was up. Yeah. I was up. What? I was up. I was up. I was up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Turkey. I know. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> You don't, don't think know. that could happen? You don't think that could happen at tribal, do you? I don't know. I don't. I, now I'm going to be so interested to see how he sits at tribal. And again, that that could be it. Bruce, no, he could be lying to somebody. Mm -hmm. and he at tribal, like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeff is like Bruce. <laughs> you look a little nervous. No, I'm up. I'm ready. Uh, but. Yeah, it's just something about that leg. I don't know. It's, uh, and again, the leg could be signaling to us that she is, again, she's a yogi. Uh, so I want to say like, oh, like, you know, peaceful. Like, you know, but then I also feel like, you know, my my good sis Trish uh, from Katyana mm -hmm. did yoga. And so, you know, Trish is peaceful if you want to be peaceful. Yep. But <laughs> Trish, Trish, Trish can come on out. So I don't know. It's just something about this leg that gives me pause. Mm -hmm. That I, I, I can't put my finger on it. Um, and again, or or but potentially potentially she this could be the winner. She could may I, I don't know. Okay. But we All like right. her. We like we. That's Jamie. Jamie. Okay. All right. Bryce, we have talked about 10 Survivor 44 castaways. We still have eight more to go. We're going to take a quick break. Okay. Hey, oh, wait, wait. Yes? If we take it a quick break, uh, can you tell me who, 
who this break is sponsored by. Yes. Okay. Uh, this uh, <laughs> this break is sponsored by uh, our friends over at Hyundai. Oh. Hmm. Okay. And then we'll be right back after this. I wanted it to be all state, but okay. <laughs> All right, we are back and ready to go. And so, uh, Bryce, let's talk about another Survivor contestant. Uh, Of course, he is uh, also somebody who's living in Atlanta. Let's welcome in, okay, Josh Wilder. Oh. Okay, here's Josh Wilder. He's a surgical podiatrist. He's 34. Not Josh Wiggler. Podiatrist means uh, he work on the feet. He works on the feet, so he should be, of anybody in this cast, he should be ready to ace this exercise. Yes. Okay. Uh, We are loving Josh. Let's just start with the, oh, I mean, again, quintessential pose. Yes. Arms Uh, folded. Arms folded. But a little bit to the side. To the side. He's giving aerodynamic. Uh, He has... On shorts, mm-hmm. well above the 
the knee, giving thigh that was action. A biker short. Yeah. Can we zoom in? What is that? Uh, what is that uh thing on the side? Let's see. Oh, if that is what I think. It, oh, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know, but I'm. That looks like a rainbow to me. So I don't know mm -hmm. if that if he is telling us it, it's the look that he is uh a part of family and if so that would bring me nothing but joy mm -hmm. yes uh um, that i can confirm that for you so okay listen okay listen bryce walked so that okay josh could fly and so listen we are giving body adi adi look like he works out he might he might do work on the feet but it's for sure that josh works out he yep. looks physically fit he has on a yellow shirt very bright he is smiling at us uh let's get into them eyes real quick i can't see is he is are his eyes open okay eyes are open mm -hmm. okay uh you know josh is now here here's what i will say because again this is this is a great great photo but is, is this a smile or is this a uh, like you know you know when somebody give you a backhanded compliment and you just like you be like, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I it's I, like me reading my mentions on Twitter, <laughs> right? And so again, this for me, I, this body language perfect. It is a uh, feet. Apart looks like you know he's leaning one little on the back, so he, he ready to pounce. It looks like enough of his feet are covered in the soil, so he's loyal. He, you know, we love. Uh, but it's that the the smile for me gets me a little nervous because it's like a couple of things come to my mind. Uh, is it one? Could it be like nerves? Like could it be like I have a, a, like I have everything to win it? Cause now you know we rooting for the baby boy. That's the baby boy. Uh, but then again, also it's like, uh, is it facial expressions? Could like are you like me? Where it's like my face gives it away. I don't know. But the, again, it looks like he is coming to play. And you know I love a, a, a queer black man. That is, you know, for me, I love to see the representation um, in the LGBTQ community. Uh, so I love it. And I, I love it. And I hope, this is my hope. Yeah. Because I don't know. I hope that Josh can break the curse uh, for gay black men players because there is a curse what is it's the curse third boots just you know i uh, think about it uh you know jeremy from david versus goliath when did yep. he go out he was third mm -hmm. i went out um so there are you know it's a curse so who's I, not a curse three is a curse I three's mean, a trend two's a uh, coincidence Vince from uh mm -hmm. yeah who won that Tommy season he was a yep. queer man of color he mm -hmm. went out third okay. so again I'm just saying I for me I want Josh to win but if he is not our third boot this season in my opinion he won so I've okay. got very high hopes uh for Josh it looks like he came to play uh it looks like again very proud of who and what he is uh, and representation matters. And so I think to have a black gay doctor for me, that just kind of like touches my soul a little bit. So uh, I am very happy to see Josh. He is serving. It, it, he's giving it's a look. I am uh, putting Josh in my potential winner cat category. Okay. Does that shirt have a hood? I, it does have a hood. So it, it looks like it. So he came prepared if it's raining. Mm-hmm. But it do get cold at night, Josh. So you know, <laughs> yeah, the, the sleeves would have been good, but he wanted to, a, a he, lot of heat escapes through the top of the head. I mean, that is true. That is yeah. true, and he would know that a lot of heat escapes from the feet too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah, nobody ever wears socks in the uh, is a look. Yeah, I mean that that would be a now that would be a curveball for me. I'll bring that back. Okay. All right. Next up, Bryce, uh, let's talk about uh, Kane. All right, Kane is our only 
Canadian cast ah. member this season, and his name is Kane Fritzler. Okay, uh, is another young man on this ah. season. Uh, Kane is. Uh, let me give you all of his particulars. Uh, he is twenty five. Okay. Uh, and he's from Moose Jaw, Canada. Oh, okay. Come on, this Moose. This is in Saskatoon. That's in Saskatoon, Canada? Okay. Yes. Oh, we love a little Moose Jaw, uh, Saskatoon, Canada. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay. Again, strong pose, hands okay. on the hips. Okay. Uh, but they're not really on the hips. It looks like they're, like, off the, like. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like. Almost looks like he wanted to put that one hand in the pocket. Yep. But he forgot to just, you know, put it in the yeah. pocket. So, uh, like the shirt's a button up shirt. Uh, it looks very friendly. I think what makes me, first of all, we love, we love, love, love gives me personality, gives me, uh, but I just get nervous with the shorts. Back the it up, Sam. Are they are yeah. for sure below the knee? Not only that, I think they're uh, that. They're, I don't know what the length is. It looks like that there's cuffs on right. uh, so, these jean shorts, but they're more makes, like capri pants that got rolled up. But that makes me even nervous. Is that you rolled them up and you left them right there? Mm -hmm. You could have rolled it all the way up. Yeah. Uh, so that for me, it's like, are you? When you wear shorts below your knee and we on Survivor, you running, you might get tripped up. You might like, you know, but again, hands on the hip. So it's like he is coming out wanting to play a strong game. Uh, and again, it looks like one of his hands should be in the pocket. So it's like, uh, are you, could you get blown? Because it looks like he's excited to be here. Like, I love the shirt with the jean top. It's like, you know, he's prepared and so excited. And sometimes that happens in Survivor is that people... I think you forget, like, yo, oh, I would kill Survivor. I'd be the best person in Survivor. And then you get out there, and it's like, oh, my God, I am really out here. When you see Jeff, and Jeff, like, you know, I think for me, when I went out there, I, like, you know, we uh, we I rolled in on the speedboat. And I'll never forget, like, when we got to the mat, and we, like, got to see Jeff, and you got to see, like, how big the production is. The one thing that I was so surprised that was, like, that, Jeff, he was like, his presence was like, you know, mm -hmm. so he didn't stop. He just like went right into it. And so sometimes you get like starstruck and um, you might do things or like slip up. So I don't know, but this is definitely a, a strong pose. But again, it's that hand on the side. I feel like if it were in the pocket, it would be mm -hmm. like the best thing because you can't really see his thumb like, you know. So I just get a little nervous in regards to like, are you going to... Could it be a JD where you got an idol or an advantage and you thought you put it in your pocket, mm -hmm. and but it's really hanging out? Like, I don't know. It just makes me a little nervous. Yep. Um, can I bring your attention to uh, the shirt? Is, he, is his shirt tucked in? So it looks like... Or is it like, just folded over? I, I think it might be folded. And okay. So again, makes me nervous. So I feel like the Survivor God from are trying to tell me that something with his gameplay will be around an advantage or an idol because like thank you for pointing that out to my attention right so on his that would be his left hand right we can't see the thumb so it's great however why can't we see the thumb because the shirt is covering it so are people going to think that he has an idol are they going to flush an idol out mm -hmm. of him are they going to think like he went out looking for idol something with an idol for me it's like mm -hmm. they're going to think it because he hiding it or he should have hit it better and he thought he put it in his pocket, but he didn't. So I don't know. Something yeah, with one of those rolled up advantage. cuffs like uh, maybe people think he has an idol. Think he has an idol. He could he could say, hey, guys, I'm going out to get water and getting water for everybody. But they think, oh, did he is he looking for an idol? Did he get an advantage? And then they're going to either try to blindside him or they're going to flush his idol or advantage out. Mm hmm. OK. Um, did we talk about uh, the uh, positioning of the feet? I, I feel like uh, that so, we got one at 12 and one kind of at 2.30. Right. So I don't know if he's trying to get off work early or if it's lunchtime. Okay. I don't know if it's a half day or he coming in late. Like, I don't know. So, again, the this is uh, lets me know that if he were pressed about the idol or, like, something, like, he'll give the information up. 
because it's like he I, like the the feet for me are like I like I don't know. It's so hard to read because it's like everyone seems to be standing like this. And so is this going to be a season where everyone is just double crossing everyone or where everyone has the I hope so. The, the, well, That'd be very fun. Yeah. That, and that's what I'm saying. This season for me, I feel like we are going to get what we want uh, because I, I feel like every everybody, the way that they are standing is really giving to me that they're loyal to two sides. Hmm. One side, the foot is planted. That gives me like your original tribe. And this other way, the other foot is opened up to the world and showing me that like you trying to go to the end with somebody else too. So again, I don't know, but I'm I'm feeling idleness from him, from the way the shirt is folded. But again, first of all, lovely shirt. We loved, we love a little uh polo buttoned up all the way down. He's got it down open. Uh he's enjoying himself. Yep. Great smile. Uh, so, yeah, I, I feel He's like... He's a fun personality, too, I, when you hear his interview. I can tell. Yeah. I, so that I, he, I, that, yeah, he's got a lot of funny stuff to say. Um, all right, that's that's Kane. All right. Kane? Yes. All right. Let's go ahead next and talk about... We have coming up is Lauren. Okay. Uh, Lauren is a elementary school teacher uh, and she is from uh, Texas. Ah. Okay. Uh, here is. Ah. Lauren. Okay. 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 Look at this top. Does that pop uh, or what? This top pops. Okay. Yes, Lauren. Okay, they say everything is bigger in Texas, and Lauren said my hair coming curly. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let, first of all, it's the hair for me, and first mm -hmm. of all, for her to get them curls out in that heat and humidity, uh, lets me know that Lauren is dedicated. Okay, she's dedicated to the look, dedicated to the curls. So that telling me just right off the bat, uh. She goes the extra mile. Okay. okay? That's important. Go, very important. The top, so cute. Uh, High-waisted pants. We love it. Hands on the hip. Hand down. Signifying, I came out here to play. But I'm not going to be both hands on the hip. It's not going to be all play play with me. Like, hands down. I want to make meaningful relationships. Uh, But... I'm ready to go if need be. I think being a kindergarten teacher will could potentially be a, an asset to her. Yeah. Uh, elementary school. I'm not elementary. sure she's, uh, what grade she teaches. Uh, I think that's going to be an asset to her because I feel like some people on the tribe may act like children. And so mm -hmm. she'll know how to deal with them. And some people on the tribe might act like adults in this parent-teacher conference. And mm -hmm. so she knows what to do. She's like, you know... Bruce did really well in, you know, reading and math. However, he used the, he, he does a lot of this. He needs to work on, talk, like, you know, so I feel like she'll have that. Um, again, this is a very strong uh, pose as well. Colorful top, beautiful hair. Again, it's it's the stance for me uh, that is like, okay, one foot up, one foot down. But this, what I will say about this stance is it seems like, you know, she leaning on the back foot. So if anything happens, she ready to jump off. But definitely one foot is planted and the other foot is open. So I, this season is trying to make my job hard for Issa Look. Because again, another great look. Yeah. I mean, I, I, there hasn't been uh, one that uh, you are really worried about yet. I mean, all state mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> has me concerned a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, uh, let's just get into her eyes real quick. Let me just say, because, you know, Danny had us fooled. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's good. Eyes are good. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if, uh, the shirt looks like it's all the way tucked in, but it looks like a piece of the shirt might be coming out the top. You like that or no? I mean, I like it. I think it's cute, but I wonder if it's intentional or like, I, I don't know. I'm at this point, like, you know, it really matters in the details. Mm -hmm. Uh, so again, this is a strong pose for me. Strong. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, I, I feel like I'm confident 
merge. Like, you know, this is a strong pose. Okay. All right. Anything else about Lauren? No, we, we, listen, she came ready. Again, friendly. Like, I, I, I mean, there, we, lo- I mean, I'm just, I, is it March 1st? Can we start the season? Because I feel like this season is, uh, this is going to be a good season. Okay. All right. Bryce, I know that you know all about the zaddy. Oh. But to now. Okay. We're going to hear we talk about Maddie. Oh. Okay. Here's Maddie. Oh. She's 28. Okay. From Huntingtown, Maryland, uh, but lives in uh, Brooklyn. Oh. Is a charity projects manager. Oh. Okay. Uh, so like- many jean shorts in this season. So many, this but listen, but Survivor I- 44, the season of uh, jean shorts. But this is what I would say. This is Maddie. Yep. I feel like Maddie's jean shorts, I feel like she made them herself. Because you see the little slit? It looks like, yep. you know, it was tearing a little bit. I feel like Maddie is resourceful. And if she is a charity manager, uh, she knows how to put together forces. I also feel like very different in the hair, right? Most people that have been wearing their hair down have been like one mm. in the back, one to the front. So like her hair up, which is for me, letting me know that her guard is completely down. Yeah. Bryce, are jean shorts in now? Because they, they, they played Survivor a year ago. Maybe were they in a year ago and are they not in now? Babe, jean shorts ain't never go out of style. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get my scissor. Yes. <laughs> you got to get ready. Yes. Almost Robert. summer. Get, listen, hot boy summer. Just make just cut them to the hoochie daddy uh, length. Yes. Okay. Got I, uh, I, I feel like she's resourceful just by, I can tell that there's probably jeans that she like had cut them herself and was like, listen, we're going to wear these on Survivor. But it's the, the hair for me just makes me feel like she might be too trusting, too like, oh. you know, um, believing somebody when she shouldn't. But again, what is it? What are you seeing? I just, because I feel like the trend has been hair in the front. And then little in the back. And so for me, that kind of lets me know that, like, I give you friendly nice. But also, if something pop off, I don't have to put all my hair back. All I got to do is. So for me, I just feel like having all of your hair in the front is basically like, like, I'm here. I'm showing up as myself. And if you were to be blindsided, if somebody were to lie to you, like, you, you would have to. Do a little head, like, I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Like, it would take a lot for you to get it all the way back, for you to be like, oh. So I feel like she's trusting. And in the game of Survivor, you have to be trusting. Uh, but you can't Gotta be, trust somebody. You got to, but you can't be too trusting. But she's no. got her hand on her hip. Again, signifying a strong pose, hand down, but we see that thumb. So again, leading me to believe that I feel like... um. Somebody lied to her. She takes the bait. Hmm. But I feel like because she is so resourceful, those cutting of the jeans uh, let me know that some information might come her way. That, you know, Danny got an advantage. Okay. And she is going to be, in a resourceful way, use that. Okay? She might... Get somebody, trust somebody with an eye. Like, she's resourceful, for sure. I know it. But I feel like, and also that could be her Achilles heel, is that she is so resourceful. She knows how to make things work. She knows the numbers. She's clearly a numbers girl, okay? You meant helping charities and do it. She's a numbers girl. So that people might see that and be like, oh, she is smart. She know what to do. And again, to the people that she's with, she's loyal. She let her guard down. And they might. They might get our girl. Okay. How about how she's standing? Again, very similar to what everyone else is doing. That one foot is planted. Uh, it actually like perfectly planted. Perfect. So I feel like she's, and this again leads to what I'm saying. She's solid in the people that she's solid with. And again, I feel like to the other people, the way this leg is kind of like legging to the side, I don't believe 
it's as strongly planted as the other one. And so I feel like people might not believe her when she is trying to work with other people. Like, no, she she with her original tribe or she's with the group of people that she's with it and she's not wavering. That That's a strong stance. And that's actually like, you know, a well-proportioned leg, calf, the thigh. Like, that's like, you know, mm -hmm. and that's the one. She looks solid. I don't think yeah. you could just walk over and knock her over. Yeah, no, no. But, I, but that one leg just looks so solid that it's just very evident to me that she is like her weight is depending on that leg and that other leg is just kind of, you know, she ready to go, but I just yeah. know what side of the sand she's yeah. on. Sometimes these people, they have like their leg, one leg like is in solid and they look, they look uh, firm. And then it's almost like the other leg is just for f decoration uh, right. that they, you know, it, they're, they're fine. But there's other people where it's like, okay, well they don't look that sturdy. Right. So, but she looks sturdy. She but, looks sturdy. Yes. Yes. But very, that, she's planted. That, she's planted. Uh, but all, it looks like definitely the majority of her weight is on that back leg. And I feel like we know what side that she's on, but she's resourceful. So we going to see. We're going to see. Okay. All right. Bryce, that was Maddie. We're going to talk about a Matt now. Okay. okay. All right. Here comes Matt Blankenship. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Matt Blankenship. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's see what we have to say about uh, Matt Blankenship. He's 27. He lives in uh, San Francisco and he is in the security, software security. Uh, okay. He's specific. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Not physical security. <laughs> uh, uh, Y'all are 44. Y'all are killing me. Y'all are. They're too good. Y'all are not playing, okay? I'm just saying that now. Y'all are not playing. Matt is the name? Matt. Okay, Matt. I mean, so there's a difference, right? I automatically feel like I wonder if Matt and Danny I wonder if they will work together or if, like, I I wonder if, do I see a Jesse and a Cody or do I see a Jane? Like, I, I because Matt's pose, for me, I love it, right? Um, it's a confident pose, right? Hands on a hip, quintessential hands on a hip. Yep. No thumbs. No thumbs. Uh, I have some issue with the spacing, but we'll get there. But my, here's the thing, right? Because this is a very strong, confident pose, right? But there is something that is different between this pose and Danny, Mess, uh, Danny M's pose, right? Danny M's pose was like, I am here. This is I am here, but not as much, right? Like, so for me, it's like, I I almost I'm getting kind of like Wendell vibes from him. Like I get that like he Is that good or bad? That's good. Like I'm getting okay. like a Wendell Ghost Island vibe from him. Okay. Like this is a you say Wendell vibe is, I, is bad. It can be. Okay. Yeah. But I am getting Wendell. This Ghost isn't Wendell on the tour bus. This isn't Wendell on the tour bus. And this definitely is not Wendell at Winners at War. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Ghost Island Wendell. Like there is a, an, you, a strong, confident. However, like within that confidence, I don't know why I just, I still see friendly, approachable, uh, you know, got wild hair, uh, I could tell he's from California just by the shirt. I feel like, you know, easy peasy. Uh, but again, very strong pose. He has on jean shorts, but they're above the knee. We love to see it. He understands. Like, you know, he's available. Uh, can we see his feet, Sam? Let's see these feet. Oh, okay. Planted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Solid. That means, like you know, again, I, I, pl pl I mean, child, his his feet almost blend in with the sand. Okay, he's plays us. He is playing both sides of the field well. I don't feel like 
if he's got to send or blindside somebody home, if he blindsides somebody, right, when they go, he going to stand up and want to give them a hug. I, okay. Like, we... I mean, this is, a, uh, this is great. Can okay. we uh, just zoom in on them hands real quick? All right. Okay. So it is the spacing. Uh, I don't know if that's the index or the pointer finger. On the both. finger spacing is the issue. Finger spacing is the issue for me. Like, you know, there's just. What do you want to see? I mean, I, I like proportion. Okay. So I just feel like that one finger is in, on both of the hands. A little far away. Um, and so, like so too, too much like a uh, Wu Tang, like kind of sorta, or too much like a claw, like as yeah, if, like you going you're in a good position, and like you know your instinct might tell you to like just go get it, and it might be, blow your spotter. I don't know, but that finger is telling me something that like your your game. Is together, or I mean, that claw could be like you clawing your way to the end. I don't know. Yeah. Um. How about the pocket on the t-shirt? We don't see a lot of t-shirts with a pocket, right? And I almost question: Is it even a pocket? Oh, it's got to be. What else could it be? Just like a it patch? Could, it could just be a patch. Can we zoom in on the chest? Because I feel like it could just be a part of the logo. No, I think that's a pocket. Okay, no, that's a pocket. That's a pocket. Okay. Don't put your idol in there. Don't put your idol in there. Do not. Or don't make, don't put your bracelet in there. That's not a useful pocket on Survivor. <laughs> not at all. Uh, we like Matt. I mean, this is great. Like, I mean, I, we like Matt. I mean, I, I don't have, I, I'm, I'm grasping at straws. This is, oh. Okay. This, we could put this in the we like pile. See, I'm so this is a little bit of a surprise. You know, I, I I'm surprised that uh, this is one that you have uh, responded to uh, the most favorably. It's it's just like again, it's a strong pose, okay? Like it's not too Bruce, it's not too Danny. Like it's just like I don't know. He just seems approachable. He seems friendly. Uh, he seems. I feel like he knows the game. Uh, I like the hair. It's not too long where it's just like, you know, like uh, not too short. I feel like, you know, how, how old is he? Is he like late 20s, 30s? How old yeah, is he? Yeah, like? I know. He's uh, 27. Okay. See? Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, I, yeah, we, we like him. His name is Matt. Matt. Okay. And what does he do for a living? So security soft or software. Okay, security, security software. Yeah. Okay. He don't sell elevators. No. Okay. No. Or I mean, forty four. I don't want to confuse you, Bryce. Okay. That we had we had Maddie. Okay, we had Maddie. And then we had Matt. Then we had Matt. And now we've got to talk about Matthew. Uh, okay, M Matthew. Matthew. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, Matthew. Uh, we like Matthew again. Hand mm -hmm. on the hip. Uh, Matthew came to play. Okay. Uh, Brandon Cottom could take some notes on the khaki shorts. Mm -hmm. Um, we like so. Okay, so for me again, right? Yeah. Just what I'm getting from, first of all, I feel like uh, Matthew could be a dad. Uh, he is. Oh, okay. I get that uh, we like the beard, beard gang. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Button open, like the shirt. I feel if like. If you have a beard, are you in the beard gang automatically? No. Or is there initiation? So Not initiate. Well, first of all, your beard needs to be initiation because some people's beard does not connect. But uh, mm -hmm. Matthew has a thick beard. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, that's Beard Gang. We love it. He could be from Philly. Uh, hand on the hip. Great pose. But for me, again, I, I like it, like confident. Uh, before I give what I think, let me see the feet real quick, Sam. Let's see. The okay. Feet. Let's see. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> 44 said, uh -uh, we want to test you, Bryce. 44 mm -hmm. is testing the Issa look, if Issa look has ever been tested. And again, also, let's zoom into his hands. Uh, his hands are on the hip. And again, as opposed to Matt, this is, in my opinion, what proportion looks like. Yeah. Okay. okay? 
thumbs well hidden, hands on a hip. He's not grabbing his waist. But this is the thing for me, because we like Matthew, not to be confused with Maddie Matt, but Matthew. I like Matthew. However, I feel like, again, Matthew is playing a very confident game. And again, not as, so there's a difference, right? Uh, in Danny's pose was very like, I'm here to play. I save lot. Like, I am here. We just saw Matt, which was given, like, still confidence, still. But Matthew gives me, like, it's. <laughs> now, this going to sound crazy. Okay. It's <laughs> Let's the hear way it. that his chest is poking out. Okay. Like, he is putting, like, that, that chest. Is, it, it's that confident chest for me. That's. Makes me nervous. Oh, it makes and, you nervous. I thought you were gonna say, yeah, let's let, let no. your let your heart light shine. No, I mean, yes, you should let your heart light shine, but I just feel like, like E.T. <laughs> not E.T. I feel like he did not have proportional fingers. He <laughs> not E.T. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh phone home. I just feel like it's an extra little and that 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 confident that I feel for me makes me think that when Matthew because I feel like Matthew feel like he is like I'm I've I I I've come to play hands on the hips my feet is down I got my khakis on below I got my button up shirt I got it opens I'm ready I combed my beard I put my uh gel in my hair I slicked it back I put my hands here and again like if his chest was a little bit down more I would be like oh okay we got a competitor here but I think it's that 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 is telling me that if and when he gets empowered I don't know if it's going to go to his head. I That's don't really know if yeah. he is two things. When he gets in power, if it goes in his head, like I feel like he might be on the bottom of the tribe. Like, you know, he could be on that tribe. You know, it's always the tribe that is not the greatest thing you make the merge. And I feel like he might come into power. And then it's like, oh, you thought you was the prince of Providence, Bryce. I'm the prince of the island. Or the other caveat that I could see is that like again he's expecting to do well and it's just like it's his show like it, it, it's like he's not uh, able to to see past it and again him being a dad like he's going to want to be a protector that like I'm I know I know what's best for you I'm going to provide like you know I think that 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 potentially could get in his way but again he looks like cheery fun to be with but that 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 one little that upper just tells me that like he went a little too far. He just went a little too far. Like, or it's like if you cross me, mm -hmm. I ain't never going to be able to forget it. And that might be an issue because it's like I think uh the one thing that we saw, especially in last season, was um how like, you know, they would target people target you then you, you come back and it would be like a clean slate like you know sammy could lie to everybody and then be like okay no no I, I, like you know what i mean like you know uh I, I i something about that chest that's just like hard to explain but outside of that again another strong player mm -hmm. okay all right uh that's matthew okay. who um Interesting. Uh, feels like that Bryce has a little bit of a warning flag for Matthew. But we love Matthew. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but, you know. but I'm just saying, I just, I see that like, you know. Mm hmm. Okay. Or if it's like, well, you dead wrong and you just think you're right, you like, <laughs> and then you're like, no, you wrong. No. Oh, ooh, okay. I okay. All right. Two people left. Let's oh talk my about God, not two. Sarah. Oh. Sarah, okay, uh, Sarah Wade. I'm okay. From Chicago, Illinois. She's oh. a management consultant. Oh, 
Okay, a management consultant. Okay, Sarah. Uh, one, we love the ensemble. Okay. Uh, she like everybody wearing two pieces or everybody wearing one piece. I'm gonna wear a cutout. Okay. We love the cutout. Uh, strong pose. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we see the thumb. We see a thumb. So that I, I mean, it says a lot. Uh, yeah. We see the hand on the hip. Is okay. That, what is that a necklace? Is that a bead in her? It's like a necklace. Okay, necklace. Okay. Um, strong. You want to see a lot of jewelry? Uh, in so uh, I love in accessories. I, I love a little accessory. I I not overboard. Not overboard. But mm -hmm. nice little accessory, uh, strong pose. Definitely, she is coming in to win. She definitely is fit. Uh, and you said she is a manager. Management of management consultant. She's 27. Okay. 27, management consultant. So, interesting enough, I feel like Helen had all her hair in the front. And I feel like she has her hair in the back. And I also feel like, you know might be like in a little ponytail in the, in the back and for me that is giving me like all business and so i strong pose i you like all business i mean do we like all business i think there has to be a balance so i feel like she might treat survivor like how she treats work right and so it's mm. like i'm a leader at work and I know what's going on. And clearly she is. But sometimes it's like you need to. And it, again, her body language is saying hand on the hip. I'm ready to play uh, hand down, which is like I'm ready to be open. And like, you know, but we see that thumb. So it's like, are you really ready to be open? Or is it like what I say goes? But I think the difference with her is I feel like she's physical. I feel like she'll be uh, a force to be reckoned with. I just, uh, I wonder if, again, because for me, it's like hair in the back. I feel like she ready to go to work. She's yeah. managing people. And so I feel like she'll treat it like work instead of like, girl, just let your hair down. Like, we on Survivor. So I, I worry. But... I feel like her work ethic will speak for itself. So it's like, will, because she is ready to work, will they target that? Because it's like, oh, she came to play. Like, she she got it all. She's savvy. She's smart. She could, like, you know, like, I, I don't know what it will be, but she definitely has come to do some damage. And uh, clearly in that green number with the cutout, like, she know her business. Mm hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, does she look like she's going to work? I mean, yes and no. Because I feel like if the cutout piece, if the cutout piece wasn't there, you know, she had a little blazer. But also, I feel like she could be, you know, give her little, a briefcase too. right. A little briefcase. Give her Sharia's heels like, you know, she mm -hmm. ready to go. Or, you know, we can at the shore with her girls, you know, little cutout. Sure. Stomach out. I mean, we love it. I love the material, love the green. Mm hmm Okay. But also, 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 because I was hard on Danny, so I got to give the same energy. If we could zoom in on her eyes, please. Eyes. So okay. I feel like, again, this kind of sort of relates to the business. Like, she they're open. Sun. She, she's in that sun, and I feel like, she might be blinded to uh, her ways of that she is. Like, I feel like she could be perfect on the paper, perfect on the paper, but she's blinded to like, shoot, I can't be that perfect. Like, I gotta like let my hair down a little bit. I gotta like give them a little bit. Like, I feel like her eye is on the prize, mm -hmm. uh, but don't let the, the million dollars get in the way of like meaningful and, uh, you know, trying to build relationships. Uh, that's what I, I feel. But again, I feel like she's going to be a force to be reckoned with. So we here for it. Okay. All right. Bryce, I got one last person to oh show you God. about here today. Okay. And then we got to, and then we got to like assign who is Bryce's picks. Okay. One last person okay. for you to talk about. Okay. All right. We got somebody I think uh, should be some fun to talk about. Let's bring in 
Jam Jam. Oh. Yes. Yes. Jam Jam uh, uh, Rojo. Jam Jam. Okay. The chat says uh, Father is coming. Oh, Father. Okay. Father. Yes. Mm hmm. We okay. This is an interesting pose. Uh, this is an interesting look. Um, okay. First of all, come on, short shorts. Yes. Short shorts. Beard gang. Hands on the hip. Gang gang. Flowy shirt. I love a. I love a flowy shirt. I mean, I'm going essence of purple. Beard gang. Smile. Cats. Okay. Are you but you're not a cat guy, right? I mean, I'm not a cat guy, but I feel like he's a cat guy, and like he want to like I feel like he's gonna bring his personality. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just feel like I get a little I, I hands on the hip, but I I feel like spicy. I feel like you know like it's jam jam. But do you want to jam or do you want to jam jam? Like I feel like okay. Good question. And is that like a is that a is that a tattoo on the thigh? Let's see. Is that which which lake is that? That's the right leg. Oh, is that a tattoo? No, lake, lake. Oh. Like? Lake. Oh, le <laughs> I, that could be a, a kitty paw. That could be one of the cat's paws. I think that's the game within the game. Oh. Child. And they brought it back. Not that. Listen, the last last person I knew to play Survivor with a, a thigh tattoo was Jatia Hart Taylor. Mm-hmm. I don't want Jam Jam to be throwing no rice in the fire. Uh, but we like a Jam Jam. This is a, a confident, fun pose. Yep. He's like, I feel like he is, again, hands on the hip, forward facing. And again, I'm like, is that so aerodynamic? But I also feel like he's giving us a little side pivot on the low on his legs. Uh, mm -hmm. But... With the side pivot, it's like, you know how most people have had the L, right? His feet aren't making the L. His feet are actually really, they're parallel. He's just like, has turned to the camera. And so for me, that is like pretty clever. That, that says a lot to me because, again, his feet, this is hands on your hips. Face forward, that's that's the winner pose, right? But it's, again, what has been the issue is that the people, the way their feet have been. However, mm -hmm. what have we been saying? You need to tilt to the side. But he didn't tilt his whole body to the side. Like, he tilted to the side, but turned the other way. Like, yeah, that is innovative. Yeah. No, that's good. I like that. Still keeping the same. Let's see those proportions to those hands. Uh, we can't see one. One hand is potentially covered, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But in the difference of who was the other, who was the the young man with the polo button up all the way down uh, from Canada? Kane. Kane, right? With Kane, when the one hand was covered, it looked almost like on purpose. Mm -hmm. This one, the hand is covered, but it looked like, I mean, a spectator would walk by and be like, the wind is blowing. Okay. Cats on your shirt. How many lives the cats have? Nine. How many days is in Survivor? 26. How many days did it used to be? 39. Drop the three, keep the nine. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on a second. <laughs> you just blew my mind. I don't know. I don't hmm. know. And like, you know, uh, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. Something interesting about this photo. I don't know. Like, it's not like, I don't know. I just feel like when I first looked at it, I'm like, hmm, okay. But then it's like, if I wanted to pull it apart, uh, I really like, I mean, he, I mean, Jam Jam is meeting my qualifications. Shout out to Summer Beardman. Mm -hmm. uh, her daughter, Charlie, makes jam. And you know, the slogan is, are you my jam? I mean, is jam my jam? I don't know. Like his smile. And again, let's get into the smile real quick. Mm -hmm. It's like 
So I feel like with Josh's smile, wow. I'm like, uh, is that, are you smiling or are you, uh, or is it like a, a, a half smile? Like with Jam Jam, I question, are you smiling or are you? <laughs> you know, there's a difference. It's like a, is he, is he laughing at somebody? Like he, like I, he got a little jewelry. He got a little chest hair. Mm-hmm. It's one, two, three. That's at least four buttons down. That you got to be pretty confident. Yep. Too confident. I, I mean, no. Is he giving too confident? Like, do no. You, no, no. Chest isn't pointing. Uh, Chest isn't pointing too far I, north. Yeah. I, I feel like he's giving like pointed to the side, so you would look at it and be like, oh, that that's not a strong pose. But again, if you were to look at it from just the the shirt up, it's strong. And then if you would look from the shirt down, it's still strong. Okay, we like a jam jam. Mm-hmm. He got the most, and again. Most people have been cuffing what? Season. <laughs> but that's going to end soon. Okay, it is. And mind you, it's been, it was 60 degrees here today. But please. I, but most people, Robert, have been cuffing their pants. Oh, yeah. What did Jam Jam cuff? Hmm, his sleeves. Mm. And when you are eating or when you are getting ready to get serious with work what do you do you roll up your sleeve i'm just saying is i don't know i just feel like is jam jam sending us messages because i feel like this is like a hmm. this is interesting is i mean again is he signaling to the other people that i am rolling up my sleeves and i am standing here i am smiling you don't know if i'm laughing at you or if i'm laughing at you like <laughs> yep. Put him on tough as nails because he's but, about to go to work. He's about to go to work. He loves cats. Cats are agile. Yeah. Cats are sneaky. Cats are, are sneaky. loving. Dogs got- are sneaky too. Our dog ate a cake that was on the stove the other day. Well, why you leave it on the stove? Well, I wasn't me. I, no, I was so- do I need to call Nicole? Mm-hmm. <laughs> or do I need to call Dominic's uh, uh, elementary school teacher? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we like, this is just an interesting pose. Uh, this, I mean, 44, do you want more? Mm-hmm. That's what they should say. All Is right. They, uh, well, Bryce, okay. You have been blown away today. Yeah, okay. The 44 cast has come. They're here to play. They are. They're here to slay. Oh. But now this is when, okay, you had your fun, okay? But now the pressure is on you because now we got to hear about who has it's a look. So the problem is, is that like the whole cast got it's a look. So it's, they got too good at it. They got too good at it. But your baby boy, I could read between the lines. Uh, I don't know. I feel like mm-hmm. for the men, I feel like my two favorites were. Okay. A drum roll. Hold on. Here, I, well, I can give you a, a drum okay. roll if you if you, if you want a drum roll. Okay, here we go. Here's a uh, for for Bryce. <laughs> the two men. The two men that I liked were Matt and Jam Jam. Okay, Matt and Jam Jam. Jam. For the two women that hmm. I liked. I liked Sophie's niece. And okay, that's that's Franny. That's Franny. That's my girl Franny. And I, I liked Lauren. Okay, Franny and Lauren. 
But I like the ball though. Like I don't like. I'm just trying to like. When I am looking up at the sun, keeping my eyes open, Danny. Um, I'm just like. I see Matt. I see Lauren. I see. I see the way Sophie was on that slant, and I see. I don't know. I mean. I mean. I definitely see Brandy. I mean, I see. I, I see Matt. I just. I don't know. I. I think for me. Uh, why I like Jam Jam so much is that, like, I just like everything that goes in. I, I like the cat. I liked his arms rolled up. I like the fact that he was standing up, but still to the side. And I feel like with Matt, I feel like uh, I got, like, it reminded me of Wendell on Ghost Island a little bit. Like, except Wendell had his hands like this, but I, I could see resemblance. And, you know, Wendell, my best friend, so I'm, I'm, I'm biased. So, like, I, we like Matt. I feel like Lauren gave us a, a flawless photo. Uh, and I think that Franny uh, gave me a photo of like, don't read a book by its cover. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, but again, I feel like Helen, great, Claire, great. I mean, they all are great, so Bryce, I don't know. Bryce, get it together. I know, Stand I just... straight. Huh, put <gasps> your feet in the sand. Put your hands on your hips and hide your thumbs. Open your eyes and look into the camera and just tell us I don't know. I don't know. who I has it's a look. Oh my God. I mean, I so this is what I will say. I think the funnest to read was Jam Jams. Oh, okay. just because it was just so much in it. Like I just so much, but I mean they all were so fun to read. Okay. Do you pick a men's uh, and, a, and a women's? I do. do you give us two? Okay, all right. Uh, 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 okay. I mean, to be fair, I, I think you made the right choice. I think the Jam Jam one, it was easy. Yeah, the Jam Jam one was easy. It was like the most fun. But I also feel like I keep going back to Franny. I feel like I had a lot to say about Franny. I feel like I had a lot to say Um I, I, I liked, uh, why y'all doing this to me? Uh, okay, I'm, I, okay, I, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go with Franny. Franny. Okay, Jam Jam and Franny. Can we, uh, can you bring uh, Franny up one more time, Sam? That I know we just saw Jam Jam. I don't think we're gonna forget that one, uh, but just in case anybody forgot. Just take a look at Franny one more time. Uh, and Bryce, you did an incredible job here today. Now it, it's getting, I think it's getting harder. It is because the players are are getting better. Like there's more information out there. The players know what they're doing. They're fans. They're not random. There's like less to nitpick. They're all doing a good job. They are. Okay. All right. So here I it mean, is. Was, one la Carson. one last time. We loved Carson. Okay. Here's, here's Franny. Oh, she looks like she's going to step on us from uh, that, that angle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's something about, like, yeah, I just feel like, yeah, okay. I'm going to stand on what I stand on. Uh, mm -hmm. But, again, I Franny, Lauren, uh, Helen, Claire, uh, my icebox where my heart used to be. I mean, they, like, Everyone has a compelling story. I mean, and baby boy Carson. Mm-hmm. All right. Branded. Yeah. Well, you've done it once again. Uh, great job, Bryce. Uh, you've brought your magic once again for It's a Luck. Another uh, really, really fun one this time around. Bryce, I know you're getting ready to go on tour. Ooh. Coming up in uh, less than two weeks now. Yes. Anything else exciting going on, non-Survivor? Uh, like in your real life in my real life I mean I'm working towards a goal but I don't want to put it out there because okay. it'll jinx it but no I'm just I'm I'm really good I, I am happy um and yeah I'm stressed right now I feel like no don't be stressed it's a look take a lot but uh I uh yeah no I'm great I'm really excited for this new season of Survivor uh and yeah you know your baby boy is chilling I'm out here working a million jobs and just enjoying life. And so I, uh, I'm i just excited and always happy to be here and talk with you. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's what we do with. Okay. 
All right. In the meantime, uh, we can hear from Bryce on the Purple Pants podcast every week. Uh, any, anything else you want to uh, plug for the Purple Pants podcast? Uh, yes. Yeah. I Bryce mean, Bryce, we... talk about uh, what was it, was it? Call me Cleo. Uh, call me Miss Cleo. The Miss Cleo, Cleo documentary on uh, HBO Max. I just covered it on this week's uh, podcast. Who I. Just went Bling Empire. It. Bling Empire. Lynn's husband. If any of y'all saw Bling Empire NYC, please let me know what you think about Lynn's husband. Uh, advice with Bryce is always around. If you ever have, you want to hear my advice, my take on things, you can always email me at the Purple Pants Podcast at gmail.com. And listen, I'll give you some advice. Uh, and you know, every other week, my mom with Miss Barb's message is inspiring and uh, giving you some inspiration that you need. We're crowning a freak of the week every week. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, we are chilling. And, you know, the, the Bryce Isaiah 2023 Zaddy calendar is still available. It's only a couple of them left. So if you want your hands on the Zatties, uh, you better get you one. Okay. All right. Well, Bryce, uh, great job here today once again. Uh, we're going to have more Survivor preview coverage uh, coming your way. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Rob is a website.com slash subscribe for everything else we have coming your way, including uh, the coverage from the first lady of podcasting. If, if she wants, if she reads the bios, we'll see. I'll remind her again uh, that we're going to do it, uh, but be on the lookout for that. The last couple seasons, we just did it like the night before the season. So we try to give it a proper treatment for Nicole Stradamus to make her picks. Plus uh, the Survivor 44 draft is going to be on February 27th. And we'll have a lot more between uh, now and then, including I'm going to talk about Survivor Australia or Australian Survivor coming up tonight with Shannon Gus. So Bryce, uh, so much fun to get together. Uh, this is such a joy. I'm so glad that you came up with this idea before it was before the, do you remember what season? Uh, I want to say, was it, Winners at War, it was 43. No, it was before that. It was before that. 33? No, but well, that was after 33. Uh, you came up with it for the Edge of Extinction. Oh, Edge of Extinction. 38, remember? That, uh, Kelly, 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 Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, and it was uh, such a great idea. It's become an institution. So, uh, another great job from the Prince of Providence. Okay. Bryce Isaiah. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're watching us here on uh, YouTube. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.